Hello, air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or North Node. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to this general reading for you in terms of uh, what spirit needs you to hear, wants you to know, wants to discuss with you at this time. So this is going to be an oracle-based reading. We are using two new decks that were provided to the channel by one of our longtime community members and massive supporters of this channel. Um, all of the crystals, every single one <laughs> of the crystals that you see on my table right now have been provided to the channel by this beautiful, loving individual that you got, many of you, if you've been with us long enough here on Divine Conversations, you know of. She goes by the name of Stella. I am incredibly grateful to her and her contributions to and her support of me and this channel. Um, and she has provided the two main decks that we're going to be working with today, as you can see right here on the table. The first deck we're going to start with is the deck right here on the far left, and it goes by the name of the Soul Seeds Oracle. Soul Trees, it's the Soul Trees series. There are two decks, they are sister decks. This one is the Soul Seeds Oracle. And then the second deck we're going to be working with is the Soul Trees Ascension deck, yes? Beautiful, beautiful decks, as you can see, just by the boxes, but also by the, the in illustrations on the back of the cards, beautiful. And then on top of that, the Soul Seeds deck is silver gilded. I, I love, I love a gilded deck, you guys. Um, and then we're gonna close out or get some extra guidance, clarity, and messages from a tarot deck. And for this, this uh, round of readings, I have chosen the Crystal Visions Tarot deck, yes? All right, Air Science, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, let's get into these messages for you. What does Spirit have for you at this time? What does Spirit want you to know at this time? Thank you, God Source Creator, for providing us with these messages at this time, and thank you for allowing me to be a channel and a guide for your messages for the collective. So, God Source Creator, Angels of Love and Light, Spirit, really God Source Creator, what messages do you have for your air signs at this time? What do you want to discuss with your air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius at this time? All right, starting with the Soul Seeds Oracle deck, let's see what's at the bottom here. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, um, hmm, oh wait, no, I'm being told not to take this card, but I was called to look at the bottom of the deck just because that card was reversed. Um, but I do want to say something about this. Uh, it is the secret card, okay, so far, the secret card, um, it was reversed at the bottom of the deck, and what I'm hearing is Gemini. So for some Geminis out there, um, there is a secret. There may be a secret that you have been keeping. Um, there may also be a secret that someone has been keeping from you, or maybe spirit, the divine, has a secret for you that could be revealed um, very soon. Whether you are in a position to speak some sort of truth or whether someone else is in a position to speak some sort of truth, Gemini, that could be something that's coming through for you also. Um, I'm picking up on something career-wise. Uh, what I'm getting, I'm getting an energy of a business. You work for a certain business that maybe has been keeping a secret from you and or from your, from your fellow colleagues um, or from the other employees. Um, something in, on behalf of the higher ups. This could be a situation, Gemini, in which... Um, the business is about to go bankrupt or um, the business is about to be closed down or maybe they could be about to do some layoffs or something like that. I'm not trying to uh, instill fear in you. I'm literally just re uh, uh, giving to you what spirit is, is saying. I will say if you do end up losing a job or if you have lost a job recently, um, 
that really could end up to your benefit and or in your favor. You may have needed to re be released from this circumstance. Uh, this secret could also be that you no longer want to work for this specific company in this specific profession in this specific you don't you no longer want to follow this specific career path for some of you i am hearing gemini that this is a secret that you've been keeping from yourself and it's time for you to reveal this to yourself it's time for you to actually look at this box or package that contains this secret and to open this box and start to come to terms with what's inside of it okay I am hearing now, uh, Spirit is confirming that yes, for many of you Geminis here, there is a secret you have been keeping from yourself. That's the main thing. Um, I'm, uh, Spirit is giving me a message of you need to find the time or find the willingness to come to terms with this secret for yourself because really it's only going to benefit you in the end. This secret that you have been keeping, if you really, if you've been keeping it from yourself, um, it, it does seem to be the cause of much of your difficulty in life. If you could just unbox this secret, unpackage, the, unpack this situation, this circumstance or whatnot, whatever, if you could, if you could just find it within yourself to unpack this for yourself, it really could make things a lot, much, much easier for you. I'm not saying the process is going to be any different. It's probably still going to be a difficult um, way forward, a difficult path ahead. And But understand that it was always meant to be that way because it's within that difficulty that you find ultimately the greatest strength once you come out of it, regardless of how it physically place out in the in your life you will always should you follow through with it and just get through it you will always come out stronger in the end you will always come out having learned something having something of value to be gained from the situation but you're only making it more difficult for yourself gemini in not allowing yourself to see what this truly is for yourself in not allowing yourself to unpack this secret okay I'm hearing this secret needs to be revealed. Now, this doesn't have to just be for Gemini. Obviously, this is a reading for all three of you, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And maybe, Gemini, this is something that has to do with someone around you. Okay, maybe, maybe the other person or someone else around you has some sort of secret. But really, this message is not really intended for cross-watchers. However, it could be. Also, it's a general reading and it's a timeless reading. Keep that in mind. Um, but I'm really trying to, the, the intention here, the focus here is on the signs that we are channeling for, not necessarily for the cross watchers. But again, if it resonates for you in that way, please do not allow me to tell you how to take it. Just understand it is a general reading. Okay. All right. Let's get into the rest of this. What messages do you have for your air signs at this time? God, source, creator. First card you have here is mastery. Okay. What messages do you have for your air signs at this time? Um, frequency, which is reversed. I wonder if I shuffled some of this in, because it looks like many of the cards are reversed here. But I'll take the reversals. One last card for the air signs here. We have view is reversed. Okay. 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 Wow. Okay. So yeah, I definitely shuffled this in a way that a lot of the cards or some of the cards are reversed here. I am going to take them that way because it does feel relevant. The, at the bottom of the deck, air signs, you have magic, which is reversed. Now I do feel like this magic that this is referring to here is your own personal magic. So the message that spirit has for you right now, air signs is all about mastery. Okay. The only card um, that has come out upright for you at this time is mastery. So what I will say here is the message for you relates to a lesson in mastery, okay? You're going through a process or a time period of being able, having the um, ability, having the propensity towards, or that, I don't even think that's the right term, but having the possibility, the, the potential to 
receive or to gain a greater level of self-mastery. For some of you air signs, um, the magic in reverse here does represent you needing to come to terms with a level of universal energies, universal magic, the fact that magic is truly real. Some of you are... Um, some of you are facing, well, okay, what I'm feeling here is some of you are facing certain difficulties because surrounding the level or the laws or the ideas of magic because you are, you are too caught up in um, uh, intellectual dominance. If you can't, if there's no tangible physical evidence, if you can't, if you can't perceive of it with your five senses, if it seems illogical in any way, then you just throw it out. You don't really... Um, you don't take into account the possibilities, which I find interesting. Um, and this is, a, full disclosure, this is Eric kind of just the, the, the human version of Eric that's kind of who I am, <laughs> is coming through and kind of being like, that's really interesting. I wonder why that's the case. And yet, you know, and yet you're watching a... Um, a, a a tarot or a tarot and oracle reading i i don't mean that in any sort of offensive way um I, i'm just it's just naturally me kind of saying that's weird um you have trouble believing in magic or mystery or whatnot and then but you're still watching a reading but that i'm sorry i'm passing judgment i shouldn't do that um but Maybe that's a contradiction within yourself that I'm picking up on. Okay, take it as it resonates. But with all of this, you have frequency in reverse and then view in reverse. So there is a level right now or there is a need right now to work on your frequency. Um, and your frequency, what I'm picking up on is your frequency is directly related to the view that you have of your circumstances of life in general. Um, it, your point of view, I'm hearing your negative point of view, is what seems to be um, influencing your frequency. And what Spirit wants you to do right now is to work on changing, taking this view and bringing it upright. Now, what does that mean? Uh, to be honest with you, air signs, um, that is very personal to you, okay? It is not my job to really truly define that for you. Also, I, it's, not, it's not possible for me to do that. I mean, I would be here for the rest of eternity because trying to define that for each and every specific person because this is a general reading. Um, but there is something about your, I'm hearing world view that is skewed somehow. And you're needing to adjust this to be able to adjust your frequency. Um, I'm also getting here that um, maybe, especially with the secret card that was at the bottom of the deck that I did end up turning upright, maybe the secret that, you're, that you are keeping from yourself has a lot to do with your point of focus, your point of view here. And that has got, that's what's got your frequency all messed up but what i will say so far air signs is that this is a level of mastery that you are capable of attaining it really just takes you changing your point of view opening up your point of view opening up your perspective to accept more than just what is physically in front of you because we are more than just physical beings Ooh. Don't spill your coffee all over your white <laughs> thing. All right, let's move forward here. I'm gonna move to the, um, the, our second deck, which is the Ascension deck of the Soul Trees series, yeah? So, um, moving forward for, my, for your air signs, God Source Creator for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Continuing with your message, what message do you have for your air signs at this time? Last shuffle. Okay, first card is body. Then we have empathy and compassion. Yeah, and prosper. No, that's it. Okay. Um, and then overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the path. 
All right, so、um, some of you may actually be going through a psychic awakening at this time. Um, and I do feel like you are probably struggling against that, or at least you're having a great deal of difficulty accepting the truth and/or the reality of certain circumstances in your life.、Um, okay, this could be relating to business and finances, maybe your career path.、Um, this,、uh, re、remember, I did pick up on the fact that some of you could be going through a change in your career. Path, your career trajectory, and the secret that you've been keeping from yourself is the fact that you truly do want to change careers somehow.、Um, with body here, I am picking up on activations within your chakra system. So some of you may actually be going through a Kundalini awakening right now, and maybe, quite frankly,、um, and please excuse me if I did offend you with my personal form of judgment as a human being. I apologize for that. It is not my place to place to pass judgment on anyone here. I am simply just a messenger for the divine. But with that said,、um, this could actually be why you find yourself watching a tarot reading right now. Or an oracle reading right now, because you are starting to, you are experiencing things in your life that cannot be explained in the physical, or cannot be explained, can no longer be, a, you can no longer approach this situation in your life from a logical point of view. That's not to say that you are intending to be irrational. No, that's not the case. But it seems that you are going through, or somebody here is going through a certain activation. Of your energy centers, which is then opening you up to the per, to the possibility or to the reality, really, of magic, the unexplainable. Okay, this I, I'm definitely feeling a level of empathy and compassion coming online for you here, going through a level of spiritual awakening that is opening you up to your latent, yes, your latent psychic abilities. Everybody has psychic ability. Everybody has、uh, the ability to communicate extrasensory、uh, with,、uh, with, like, through, say, telepathy. Or、um, everybody has the ability to pick up on, perceive of, and read energies. Now, for some of you air signs, this is actually very, very difficult for you right now. This activation,、uh, empathy, well, not empathy, compassion is really standing out for some of you here.、Um, there is. Oof, there's a big struggle with this for some of you.、Um, maybe the secret that you are keeping, that you are trying to hide, not only from the external world, the outside world, but maybe from yourself, is the fact that you may be starting to come to terms with the ways that your, or the yes, the ways that your、um, extreme、um, adherence to logic has really. Cut off a level of compassion and empathy you may have been able to express for people into the, in the past. Some of you are coming to terms with the fact that that may have been really detrimental to some of the relationships you've had with people in the past. Okay, your world may really be flipped upside down right now because as I'm talking through this air signs, you do have、I'm, my 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 attention is being drawn to view right here, which is reversed. So, whereas in the past your point of view may have been very logical, may have been very solid, may have worked for you, now it seems that your life is being turned upside down, and your point of view is completely skewed. I'm also hearing. I just heard for some of you, you are in an energy of not believing, not being able to believe. You don't know what to believe anymore. Okay. Finally, you do have prosper here. This does feel like a good omen because I feel like you are entering into a time period, or you're about to embark on a pathway. The overall energy at the bottom of this deck is the path that is going to lead you towards greater prosperity. Now, that doesn't necessarily that doesn't necessarily mean just financially. I am picking up on. The about the, the the type of prosperity that you are being led towards, the divine is leading you towards, is a, a sense of emotional prosperity. I'm seeing ten of ten of cups energy right now, which is ultimate emotional fulfillment. 
Um, for some of you here, this is very, very difficult, but it's mainly so difficult because you have, there has been a big blockage for you or maybe this individual. Um, there's been a huge blockage in terms of compassion and emotion. And while this is, this is in fact breaking up that resistance those blockages in terms of emotion and it is in fact leading you towards a greater level of contentment i'm also feeling and hearing union um uh, balance within yourself it is leading towards a greater level of prosperity but that doesn't make it easy uh what i just heard is this may be one of the most difficult things that you have ever faced um, and maybe it's very much that your life, one of your main life lessons is integrating the lesson of compassion and empathy and love. Instead of just being completely intellectually uh, uh, oriented or completely logically oriented, now you're entering into a time period where your dependence on logic and reason does no longer serves you either no longer serves you at all, or at least, at the very least, just doesn't serve you in the same way. Empathy and compassion are is your focus right now, okay? It's very much the focus right now. Um, I'm gonna pause for a second. I wanna get some more coffee, and then we're gonna dive into some tarot. All right, air signs. Let's dive into the tarot messages that Spirit has for you at this time, yes? Okay, God's source creator, continuing with your message for your air signs at this time from the Tarot. What messages do you have for your air signs at this time, God source creator? Thank you so much for providing these messages and these guidance, this guidance to us. I'm gonna give this two more shuffle air signs, two more shuffles, excuse me. That's one. And this is two, your last shuffle here. What messages do you have for your air signs? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius at this time, please, God, source, creator. Okay, for your air signs. What do you need your air signs to know at this time? First card out is the moon. Um, and the first message that I get from that is illusion. So I feel like uh, you are in a time period right now where you are facing your fears or you are needing to face your fears or you're needing to, okay, first, well, I will all definitely say that the moon here is definitely picking up, uh, speaking to a level of magic. Um, some of you may actually be in a time period right now of coming to terms with some sort of history of witchcraft, whether that be in your family, in your lineage, or maybe in your soul's lineage. Um, some of you, aha, okay, so, uh, you, you're in your life for, this is very specific, take it as it resonates. But if this doesn't resonate with you, then, then don't worry about it. But somebody here, maybe a number of people, quite a few actually, possibly, um, the reason why you have your life up until this point that you are viewing this reading and, or at least that you're going through this time period, the reason why you've been so logically dominated or 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 um um uh, ooh, i almost want to say obsessed is because of circumstances that in past previous lifetimes whether this is within your soul's lineage or whether this is in your family lineage it could be both it could be one or the other but ultimately you incarnated in this lifetime and up until now you've been so logically oriented or based because of the negative experiences that you've had with in the realm of magic or with the realm with the use of magic some of you may actually resonate with having past previous lifetimes where you were either persecuted uh, and and killed uh with the like during the Salem witch time period or just any other sort of witch hunt type of energy um, in the past. There, is some, there seems to be some sort of trauma surrounding that. And so in this lifetime, you've incarnated and you've been expressing yourself in a very logical way. And yes, that was needed. But, what is, but what is, now what is needed is balance. So instead of being 
expand instead of being oriented towards either of the extremes logic or magic you, you you're in a place right now where you experienced in the past the orientation towards magic and then the pen pendulum swung and you were being very logical and very you know intellectual but now you're being guided to bring that to the center instead of the pendulum continuing to swing to either extreme now you're being guided to center and balance both sides intellectualism and magical ability um logic the the, the logical and the illogical right with the moon here, I am picking up on magic. I'm picking up on um, magical ability, you know, working with the moon cycles, but also I'm picking up on perceiving of the illusion or facing the illusion surrounding you or surrounding the circumstance, okay? Now, for others of you in which this doesn't resonate as you being some sort of um, witch or, or, or wizard or something like that, for lack of a better term, for others of you, this is... The moon here represents the secret. I mean, in all, in all cases, we can say the moon here represents the secret that you've been keeping or that has been kept from you. What the, the main thing, however this resonates for you, air signs, the main thing I'm getting from the moon is you facing this now, this deep, dark secret, okay? What do you have for your air signs, please? God's first creator, anything else? You have the... Page of Cups first or the Nine of Cups? Well, you have the Page of Cups and the Nine of Cups here. I really feel like I want to reverse this. Nine of Cups, I'm sorry. Yeah, Nine of Cups first to the Page of Cups, okay? Lots of cup energy. Knight of Cups, Eight of Swords. Okay, anything else? Eight of Wands. Well, would you look at that, Air Signs? There's the Ten of Cups right there. And I did, I did mention I was picking up on that energy for you. Um, and the Ten of Cups does ultimately represent a sense of, well, what I just heard is a sense of freedom. Okay, but like ultimately the generic, the general message or meaning of the Ten of Cups is ultimate wish fulfillment. Now, that could be on a personal level. But it also could be on a greater level. You know, sometimes the Ten of Cups isn't always the most positive card in terms of the fact that it can represent a possibility towards getting lost in the sauce. What do I mean by that? The Ten of Cups doesn't just represent a singular individual's personal sense of emotional fulfillment. It can also represent the emotional fulfillment of a group of people, your family, your immediate family, your immediate social group, or just a greater collective in general. And sometimes you can get lost in the sauce of that. You can get lost in trying to serve the or facilitate the emotional fulfillment of others while in that term in case of the, in terms of that depleting yourself for some of you here you are coming to terms with yeah for some of you here there is a reality of being at the mercy of others around you their feelings their desires and for those of you that are resonating with this really on a strong magical sense like you in the past or you have some sort of you're coming to terms with some sort of magical propensity or ability which is latent within everyone, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. Um, that is very a very real thing. You were at the mercy of, you were persecuted by a collective of people that desired something that um, you seemed to be a threat to in that time period, in that life cycle, okay? Um, And then ultimately the Ten of Cups just can represent your uh, uh, gaining a level of personal fulfillment on an emotional level. The emotions, uh, empathy and compassion is a very strong message here. You have a lot of Cups cards. Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. So what I'm getting with this air signs is coming to terms with certain secrets. The moon secret desires that which is has been hidden from you that which hasn't been easy to see 
that which cannot be perceived by intellect alone. And it seems that this facing this moon energy is connecting you, putting you in terms with uh, the nine of cups here is kind of giving me nine of pentacles energy. Um, and the nine of pentacles does represent independence and sovereignty. But what I but but it doesn't necessarily represent emotions. The the pentacles well it wouldn't represent emotions. It would rep represent physical reality. It would represent um, abundance, um, being an entrepreneur, receiving the rewards for hard work done well. Um, it also represents p being single. If you're, oh geez, that scared me. <laughs> you gotta wait, Jinx. My my cat at the door, scratching at the door. Um, but in this case, for you guys, air signs, I'm feeling this nine of cups is very similar to the nine of pentacles, but I'm getting emotional independence. What fulfills you? Instead of focusing so much on what would fulfill the collective, the greater collective, there is a desire or a need here to put into view, bring into view what actually would emotionally fulfill you. But in order to do that, air signs, you're going to have to get down to the nitty gritty of what you're truly feeling or where your emotions really lie. You're going to have to open up to emotion. If you're going to integrate and master this level of empathy and compassion, you're going to have to open up to emotional reality, which means you're going to have to open up to what is not logically um what doesn't make logic sense or what that you're going to have to open up to the realm of the illogical. Okay. Working with your heart, the Knight of Cups is going to help you break free from this mental imprisonment, Eight of Swords. You see, this is that logic right here. This is that overemphasis on logic. And you see how it blocks you. It see how you see how it closes you off. You see how it, it cages you. I'm, in no way is spirit saying that you have to throw all logic out the window. No, but there needs to be a balance here. Balancing the logical with the illogical Knight of Cups, which does represent your heart chakra, or at least for me as a reader, the Knight of Cups translates into heart chakra awareness and taking action from your heart in a very innocent way. You have to open your heart in order to balance the logical with the illogical. And then that from there, eight of wands from there is when your path will open up. Okay. All right. Let's get a final closing message for you at this time for your, for your air signs, please. God source creator, final closing message. The three of swords. Yeah. You've been hurt. Final closing message for your air signs, please. Wow. Three of swords, the hermit, and the Queen of Wands. Anything else? No, that's it. Okay. And then the overall energy is the Five of Wands. A lot of you have been blocking yourselves off um, and you've been dealing with this level of inner conflict for a long time. Um, and that has to do with how you have been hurt by others around you, whether it's in this lifetime or previous lifetimes. Um, and that has created a level of inner conflict that I feel like you've gotten so comfortable with that the reality of this inner conflict has like it, 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 you don't perceive of it anymore because it's been such a constant that it's just, it, you, you don't even see it. You've gotten used to it. It's not, it, you know, it, that's what I'm getting with the five of wands here. But, um, the closing message for you air signs is to Accept the reality of this pain. Accept the reality of how you've been hurt. Three of swords. And go within. Face it. Heal it. Feel it. Cleanse it. Face it. Feel it. Heal it. Cleanse it. There you go. And that's going to help you with your vibration, your frequency, the queen of wands. There's that frequency energy again. Frequency. The queen of wands. I see the queen of wands as a representation of your frequency because if we're looking at it from the teachings of the law of attraction, the queen of wands would represent the receptive side of that, which means um, fine tuning your frequency here. Let me turn this up right so you can so you can actually like read it. Um, fine tuning your frequency here so that you are an energetic match to that which you truly want to 
desire to have. Now, for some of you, that's actually the catch here because you're going to need to face this inner conflict, face the pain and the heartbreak of the past that has basically closed you off from what it is you truly feel that you want. Let's go back to this example of those of you that have experienced persecution in the past for something that's magical or illogical. Your heart was really into that. You were really moving forward with that because that's really what resonated with your soul. But due to public opinion, you were persecuted for that. And so that could be, and this, this, this could li be literal for you or this could just be uh, figurative, take it as it resonates. But if it resonates for you, just not in how I'm describing it specifically, then, then place it into your life as it fits for you naturally. But it feels like that was a reason, that is a reason why you have cut yourself off or could be a reason as to why you have cut yourself off from the realm of magic, which is ultimately also the realm of emotion, the realm of the illogical. Okay, in order for you to really work on getting that f this personal authentic frequency back in good place, back in good standing, back in alignment, you are literally going to have to open your heart and face the, p the pain from the past. Face the heartbreaking cycles. Go through the inner, do the inner work, do the inner soul, the soul searching the hermit, come to terms with that so that you can then start to work on adjusting your frequency to what is more in alignment for you as a being, as a soul, as an individual in this lifetime, okay? That is the path ahead of you right now. All right, air signs. I am going to leave it there. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I really, truly hope this was helpful for you. Um, Please make sure to smash that like button for me. If you enjoyed this reading, definitely go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section down below, um, letting me know how this resonated for you. Um, open yourself up to the community here. We do have a really beautiful and loving community. This is a safe space. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate or feel ashamed to post that in the comment section because I'm sure there is someone here that can help you if that person is not me, okay? It's not just me. There are many people in this collective that have a great deal of wisdom within us that can really help you if you need it. Yes, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask. Um, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already, especially if you find yourself here for the first time. Please don't hesitate to be to, to, to join the community. Yeah, we love you here. With that said, Air Signs, I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.